Hello. Thanks, Grumble. Uh, that was a uh, like Valentine's Day gift from Anna. She commissioned it from, I think, Tofu Pixel. I should get, I should confirm that and put their credit to them in the channel. And I just realized I forgot water, so I'll be right back once again. Okay. Where were we? Um. So, yeah, yeah. A very good gift. Um. So we sketched out the rest of this guy pretty much, besides like the metals on his neck, just to get an idea for what we want. Um, today, I'm gonna try to focus mostly on the skin, especially the face. Um. I guess some quick quick catch up of other things I've been working on. Um, here I can grab all these stupid things. Maybe. Okay. So I got these all put together and gap filled. Um, just kind of letting the gap fill stuff cure a little bit. This guy was <laughs> Uh, assembled when I got him and I think it was assembled with like PVA glue because like things keep snapping off like his hat popped off and then this just snapped off so putting it back together with my super glue it seems a lot more solid now um, this one like had a bubble in the neck so I had to sculpt a new collar for her so that was fun <laughs> Things look a little messy because there's like dust and things like that, but once we, I'll, I'll be doing a brushing with the, yeah, toothbrush actually here, I just noticed something. Let's clean that a little bit up. For the subscription, Mumford. Yeah, these are the witches. Um, someone on the KDM Discord wants me to paint them up. Um, we're not we're not working on these today. I was assembling them, uh, and I was just sh showing them around. They're cool models, but my God, KDM resin. It is like strong right until it's not. <laughs> There's lots of like fun little casting things. Um, yeah, Elden Ring is a lot of fun. I did play a little bit yesterday, I think. I haven't played yet today, but I was probably gonna play in the evening. Um, I think she's by far my favorite of the witches. Um, well, maybe a tie between these two. Yeah, lots of, lots of gaps that had to be filled. This one took a while to figure out how this thing attached to the dress. It was not intuitive, but I got, I figured it out. I figured it out. So, and she does have a little book thing that hangs off her wrist, but I've not put that on yet because I think it'll be a pain in the butt um, to paint. So I'm gonna put that on at the end. But anyways, yeah, Prime. Yeah, I've played I've only played like 15-ish hours of Elden Ring. So it's good stuff. Um, I'm liking it. I'm, I, I, I can't play more than like a few hours at a time because I, I start sucking a lot. Um, yeah. Uh, luckily like KDM Collector usually has like a lot of images. Um, but it is a lot of like dry fitting, trial and error, getting that all sorted. Um, most of it was pretty straightforward. Uh, I think there's just like some fun warpages and stuff like that that required a little thinking. A little thinking. So we 
are going to try even more new skin tone, or not new, but skin tones we haven't used in a while. Um, I haven't used these scale artist ones in a hot second. Yeah, I, yeah, like, it's a very good game. I think I'm personally on the stance that I think a lot of people are saying it's doing a lot of new things that aren't really things that it's doing new, if that makes sense. I think a lot of the things people are praising it for, like, Breath of the Wild did already. Um, but maybe I'm just a Breath of the Wild simp. It's always possible. Okay. Like, uh, nice. Uh, which, which Iwata are you getting? No problem. Happy to help. Um, and also, if you're getting an Iwata compressor, you'll have to let me know how that is, because I just have a no-brand. Eclipse is really good. This is, yeah, uh, this is the Eclipse. Uh, it is my main workhorse. Um, like, you can do pretty much whatever you want with this brush, and it's it's a tank. Uh, I've had to replace the nozzle in it a couple times, but it's not too expensive, and that's supposed to me being abusive to it. Um, but it's still good, it still works. You can do a lot with it. Um, if you find that you want to end up doing more detail work and like you really enjoy airbrushing, uh, I do recommend this HPBH. Uh, I think there's also just an HPB which doesn't have this funky thing, um, but this lets me get like a little bit closer. So like if you see me doing like tight areas, this is definitely what I use now. Um, not that you can't do it with the Eclipse, this just makes it a little bit easier. Yeah, like, I, I'm not complaining about Elden Ring or, like, trying to, like, like, put it a step down or anything like that. Um, it's just, I think, I think they're, I think they're, like, two sides of the same coin where Elden Ring is much more for the person who cares about, like, combat being interesting. And I think Breath of the Wild is much more for the person who cares about exploration being interesting. Um, like, I've, I've not had any trouble, like, traversing the map in Elden Ring. Hello. How are you? Yeah. Like... I, I do, I do think Elden Ring is, I do like that Elden Ring basically has a bunch of Hyrule castles around. Uh, my hope for Breath of the Wild 2 is that it's Breath of the Wild with traditional Zelda dungeons. And it's technically supposed to come out this year. And if it does, the, the game of the year conversation is going to be interesting, I think. Yay, you do some art. Art is always good. Also, I always forget that the red oxide and the burnt sienna look, look almost exactly the same. <laughs> there's burnt sienna and there's red oxide. Like, the red oxide is like a tiny bit more red. Anyways. Uh, did I get the golden skin in there? Yeah, it's that one. Okay, that was deeper. It. Yeah, I mean, Breath of the Wild is going to be... I will, I will probably actually take time off work to play that game. Yeah, I was looking at the release calendar, and it looks like, luckily, it kind of 
takes a chill pill after this month. Uh, like the rest of this month, there's a few more games coming up that I want to play, which are... Um, um, there's Ghostwire Tokyo, or Tokyo Ghostwire. I think it's Ghostwire Tokyo, uh, which might be a pickup on sale kind of game, but it looks pretty interesting, like a neat combat system, cool aesthetic, all that good stuff. Um, then there's Gran Turismo 7. Gotta go, gotta go fast in the race cars. And oh, uh, the Kirby game. <laughs> I downloaded the demo. I might play through the demo tonight. We'll see what kind of mood I'm in. Uh, Breath of the Wild is currently slated for release this year. Yeah, but big if true kind of thing, I think. Because the, the most recent trailer said 2022. So we'll see. Okay. So we looked at the witches. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm taking my time with Elden Ring. Uh, I think it's gonna just kind of be my, my game for a while. Uh, I may go back to Destiny a little bit. I've heard that the new campaign is really good. Um, but it has been nice to be like excited about video games again because it's been a long time. <laughs> like, I think I think Hades was the last game that I was like super excited about. Also, I think this brush is goofed up. How did this brush get goofed up? Why is there gunk in this brush? Did I wipe stuff on it while I was gap filling? <laughs> well, I'm gonna figure you out later. You're gonna go back on the shelf for now. Goodbye, Mr. Brush. Uh, we're gonna get... Let's treat ourselves. Let's treat ourselves. Let's get a, let's get a crisp new... Crisp new Raphael number one. Yeah, I I used to, like, I didn't really have many hobbies outside of, like, photography, and which you can't really do all the time. Um, so I used to play lots of games, mostly Destiny 2, and then I got into mini painting, and now that's where I'm at. This was my free time. Um, but yeah, I think one, one, my attitude towards video games has definitely changed, where it's like, I don't if I finish video games anymore. Um, like, I just want to play it until I no longer have fun, and then I'll move on to the next thing that I want to play. Um, it's like Deathloop, I never finished. I played it until I stopped having fun, which was basically like, okay, well, I get the, I get the gist of the game, I know what I'm going to have to do, and it's going to be very linear towards the end, so I stopped kind of caring. Um, but yeah. And like all the Souls games, I've tried I think all of them since Bloodborne, including Bloodborne. And I usually just bounce off after a couple hours. I'm like, this is a cool game, but I don't got time to figure this out. But Elden Ring so far is different in that, like, the whole, like, go anywhere aspect is nice. Which I know, yes, other Souls games had that and could do that. But it was less apparent, and there were much fewer options as to where you could go. But anyways, enough about that. I should get a nice orange red belt. 
too. Yeah, yeah. It's just, there's just way more stuff. But so far it doesn't feel like it's like a waste of space, which is good. Uh, Our Flag Means Death, which is a new HBO comedy thing uh, by Taika Waititi and that guy from Flight of the Concords. It was pretty good. I think if you like their sense of humor, you'll enjoy it. If you don't like their sense of humor, you will not enjoy it. Is there a crypto ad that plays before the stream or something? If so, that's terrible. I don't know, the, the hyperlink thing for Twitch is very uh, loosey-goosey. you're okay here. Also, hello, Crypt. Hope you are doing well on this Sunday.
that blue is a very powerful color. <laughs> so you have to be careful when mixing with it and not add too much at once. Just kind of doing lots of thin little glazes over uh, what we've done on the previous streams. I don't know, just trying something different. As 
to dip our hand in the medium. That's good. That's good.
see what's going on for mini stuff. The Aquilera Model 6 order, I think, ended today. So, I get my pledge for one mini, so we'll get one, at least one. Um, what else? That Mineworks has a pre order going on for a. Uh, Wizard of Oz diorama kind of thing. I believe you have to be on their mailing list in order to have a link to the pre-order. And the pre-order just saves you 30% or something like that. It's a cool diorama, but I don't think it's for me. So right now my eyes are just set on the speaker pre-order. Elk burgers with pepper jack guac and pepper jelly. Sounds good. What kind of bun was it on? Don't think I've ever had elk burger or otherwise. Nice. Guys rolls are a good choice. Uh, 
But how are you doing, Mini Mancer? Besides eating good food. Nice. Like a whiz kid's been here, something like that. All right, thanks Grumble. Thanks for stopping by and ha uh, chilling while you play Elden Ring. Hope you have a nice dinner. Um, I'll be on for a while longer, I think. Well, we're gonna do an actual stream today instead of the short streams I did this week. <laughs> Both uh, Monday and Friday I did like only an hour. Bones 5 is always good for like a easy little project. Just chill out. Yeah, that's how I got started, so I got him right here. Um, but yeah, so we started a D&D campaign, and the, the DM was using minis rather than, like, the Pathfinder standees. And the mini that they gave me didn't look at all like my character, so I was like, oh, how do I go about, uh, like, getting a custom mini and, like, painting and all that stuff, and then just kind of fell down the rabbit hole from there. Um... So like largely painted WizKid stuff um, for the first eight or nine months. Uh, somewhere in there, discovered Kingdom Death. And like, I think bought models during that October sale and got Oktoberfest Aya uh, and maybe one or two more. Um, but didn't paint those for quite a while because I didn't have like a means of priming things well. Uh, and then eventually, uh, started getting into display stuff as well around the same time as I found out about Kingdom Death. I largely attribute that to uh, Chris uh, Suri, S-U-H-S-U-H-R-E. Uh, I think his Instagram is Chris Suri Minsherard or something like that. Um, 
but he's like how, you, how to train your dragon piece so I was like oh that's cool how do you do stuff like that short story long or long story short <laughs> D&D was my way into it rather than uh, Warhammer which I think was a lot of other people's ways or board games It's just nice to have a hobby that was like not tied to a computer all the time. Uh, since I work with computers all day, it's nice to be able to unplug. Also, speaking of computers. There's an Apple event on Tuesday, so hopefully they announce a new computer that I want <laughs> so that the stream can stop being as garbage, at least stream quality wise. Content will remain the same. So sorry about that. Lots of Zoom fatigue these days. Yeah. We are, so we have one session on Tuesday this week, which we'll be doing online just because getting to each other's houses uh, during the week can be challenging because of Seattle geography. There's a bunch of lakes in the way that makes getting places difficult. Um, but this upcoming Saturday, we are going to meet in person to wrap up the campaign, I think. Unless, of course, we, I don't know, get TPK'd this week or <laughs> on Tuesday or uh, otherwise dilly-dally. I've heard of Forbidden Lands, but I cannot place what exactly it is. Okay, Tales from Blueprints on it. Got it. Okay, I think that's where I've heard of it from then. Tales is one of these systems I was looking at. Because uh, once we wrap this campaign up, we're thinking of doing uh, two games. I'll run one, and the current game will run one. And we'll just alternate between it. That way, 
he's not stuck basically forever DMing in the new reality of existence. <laughs> Some people showed interest in sci-fi rather than fantasy, so I've been looking at sci-fi systems. And as much as I would love to run Lancer or something, Lancer like really, really needs maps. Like you need a hex grid for combat. Um, and I just, I just hate Roll Twenty with a passion. just a big old pain in the ass to use. Sounds almost like a setup for like a hex march kind of game. Uh, which I'm a big fan of those styles of campaigns. They're a lot of fun. If you are listening and not familiar with what a hex march is, basically you have a big overworld map that's a bunch of hexes um, that are covered up. And as you play through it, you uncover them and see what's there and find dungeons and random encounters and weird landmarks and stuff like that. Uh, it is a, a hex march specifically is a combination of a hex crawl, which is that kind of hex map thing and a west march which is a style of game where every session you start from the same place and then you go outward um, so a hex march is just you start from like a central location and you explore outward on the hex map um, and as you get more powerful each session you can explore farther and farther out and the cool thing about west marches or hex marches is you could like have a large pool of players and the players will largely decide like when to meet and what they want to do that session. So the DM just kind of says like, here you go. Here's like some starting quests. Let me know what you want to do, etc., etc. And then as the game continues, the players will just kind of find more things in the world that are interesting to do. Um, or they may just be like, hey, we're just going to explore the entire time to uncover more of the map. Um, yep. Yeah, when we played it, it's like very loosey goosey kind of survival stuff. Like, stuff happens, like weather and things that you'll have to be prepared for or handle in some way. Um, that kind of stuff. You also need to be able to carry enough food and that kind of thing, or be able to find it on your way. We had one that went on for a few months with Pathfinder 1, which was fun. And then we did one that lasted a few sessions in 5th uh, edition before. I think it kind of stopped roughly around COVID because we are all just dealing with stuff. <laughs>
think some of the systems I've been looking at, uh, if we do fantasy, obviously there's 5e, um, which has been kind of our staple system. We may give Pathfinder 2 another try, see how people feel about that. Because we did do the playtest uh, three years ago and had mixed feelings on the playtest, but it was an especially bad playtest and the full release is much better, so. sci-fi stuff there's a system called scum and villainy that looks kind of interesting there's the aforementioned lancer which i'm a big fan of Hongi, did you not have a snack or lunch or anything like that? I had a snack. Luis. Sora is a, uh, she that you knew that Anna was watching this weekend. A silly dog. Okay, yeah, you should have something at the very least. Oh, we watched, hey Sammy, uh, we were watching a uh, Shiba Inu, or Anna was watching, but brought over yesterday. Uh, named Sora. It was a silly little dog. some airbrushing. Part of me was thinking skip airbrushing on this piece, but Yeah, I suppose passed out. Po woke up because I was getting frustrated assembling those witches earlier. Anyone's go under the couch. <laughs> but now he's passed out, I think. So I was getting rid of a stupid mold line on one of them, and the, the staff snapped, and I was like, great. Stupid model. <laughs>
get this hot again. And I was scraping my knife on it, and then it snapped right here. And I was like, what the heck? Why, why did it snap there? Made out of paper. I also need to decide if I'm going to put another pin in it. Maybe. That's probably enough. Definitely not putting a pin in her actual feet, because there's about, like, half a millimeter, <laughs> if that. I need to clean the bottom of that up again. That's fine. That's easy. Okay. Yeah, they played a lot. It was great. Took a good video of all three of the doggos running around, playing. I'm not sure what's going on at my job this week. <laughs> half the org is doing like a hack week and the other half's not because there's something that's horribly broken and they need to fix it before a big launch. So I don't know if we're also taking the hack week off or what. Well, I guess I'll find out tomorrow. If it is a hack week, then my week will be pretty light, so that's good. If it's not, then I get to keep working on the stupid thing.
Okay, that's definitely getting some like much needed color in there. The skin was a little flat. Back in the shadows. Eh. Bumping all the things.
Oh. Paper usually works better when the air compress is on, huh? Hello. You want to say hello? Yes, no? You say? Okay. Oh, no, what are you doing? 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 What are you Porky pants? Yeah. <laughs> Good dog. A little neurotic, but a good dog. <laughs> okay. Let's switch back to Harry Brush, I guess, for a little bit. He likes to sort of herd. Um, he has like a very particular way about how he wants to like walk sometimes. Uh, like it's not like a bad thing necessarily, but sometimes he's like very much like, I want to be in this spot. And if I go in any other spot, I'm going to pull over to that spot. Um, He likes to walk against walls a lot. I don't really know why. <laughs> I think it's maybe sort of a like safety thing. Okay, 
this sense of security is the better way to phrase that in this instance. I was generally pretty good with most dogs. Um, he plays pretty well. Uh, sometimes he doesn't like correctly get signals to back off, but like you back off when he's really told to back off. Um, he used to like play with dogs at the dog park a lot, but lately he just kind of wants to play with the ball. Just been because during COVID there were fewer people at the dog parks nearby. So you just kind of got used to playing with the ball. Oh, his main, his main, like, neurotic thing is he likes to lick a lot. Like, he'll just kind of sit there and lick your feet. Or he likes to lick other dogs to say hello. All the licks. He hates it when Poe tries to lick him, but sometimes he has to like pin Poe down and lick his ear. <laughs>
Yes, you did. I mean, you talked earlier. I don't remember if you explicitly said hello, but you chit-chatted. You said something about crypto and LeBron James. And absolutely no worries. It's been a pretty, pretty quiet stream. Just kind of chilling and painting today. Don't have too much to talk about. Yeah. lower my camera slightly and I think it was the right move um, the lights not blocking my face when I try to look at the computer anymore so that's good um, I don't have to zoom as far in digitally with the software for the model to fill up the screen so that's also good Let's take a look at something real quickly. Uh oh, there we go. Okay, all right, fine. Okay. <laughs> really, not a whole lot of uh, value contrast. Some in the face, but we can keep on pushing it. here slightly more. It's basically definitely want to keep pushing up. We're pushing it up. Switch that back before something goes. Why is everything black and white?
that's a little too much of the green. Oops. During the airbrushing, I lost a lot of the darkness on this side, so I'm trying to tone it back down a bit. I think it's a little bit too RMG there to now, too, so we'll be fixing that up. Alright, stretch a little bit.
Uh, every now and then I pop in there. Uh, um, I usually, if I pop the stream on, I usually just kind of lurk, but uh, I'll raid in there every now and then, and I'll just pop in there every now and then. Um, it's fun to see what he does with the oil paints. Interesting personally using oils. I like acrylics quite a bit. But it's cool to see what people do with them. There's him in uh Pun Expected, I think. Yes, Pun Expected. Unexpected is working on that giant Thanatos. As he was yesterday. The like one third size bust. Yeah, it's way too big. <laughs> I have zero desire to ever paint anything that large. six scale not the brave bust and that's already like pretty dang big <laughs> for heads like the size of his chest basically Big element? Is it like a like a big unit in an army or something like that? Yeah. Like the I have
Oops, that was not a good camera angle. Sorry about that. Yeah, yeah. He, he has settled kind of into a little bit of a, I guess like a rhythm the last few videos I feel. Um, I would like to see him do another video on like more display kind of painting rather than all the speed painting kind of focus that he's been lately. Like he's done, done a lot of variety on like how to go about speed painting. Um, last little bit. I guess I can't blame him, those paint a whatever in four hours thing. Get the clicks. You look at this out of the light real quickly. Let's look at it. <laughs> Okay. About eleven. We'll go for another thirty some odd minutes. So let's work on the arm slash hand over here. We're actually for learning that I'm most hyped for, uh, or like content creators that I'm most hyped for is Mark Masklin's said on his Instagram in a comment that he's going to be starting up a Patreon. Don't remember if I mentioned that on Friday or not, but if I did, oh well. I'm talking about it again. I want to try out some sort of uh, OSL slash ring light on this guy. We'll see. Okay. Well, that's good. <laughs> I don't remember when I heard it, uh, so I don't remember if I heard it before last stream or if I heard it since then. But yeah, he is easily one of my favorite painters at the moment. And has a very unique way about going about painting. So being able to get more insight into that, I think would be pretty cool. Airy Keys. I don't know if I'm familiar with Airy Keys. I'll have to check them out.
Okay. Neat. His uh, his alias is just Airy Air, Air Keys, right? Yeah, I'll be heading to the grocery store in a little bit. Gotta get some salad. Probably some coffee. Mm. Probably some cereal. Still on my uh, my cereal kick. get healthy the healthy kinds of cereal like granola and stuff like that micro texture okay uh someday i'll make it so that i don't have to use my phone to film this <laughs> i need to look into like I, well i think first things first is get a new computer that could handle like anything more than what is currently being put into the stream uh, and then after that the next kind of upgrade might be an actual camera because then I can use my phone in case something pops up
Okay. I mean, I've seen quite a few, like, cool plasma coils. Um, I think my, my, my algorithms don't show me too much, like, Warhammer stuff, because I don't follow that all the time. But every now and then I'll see something.
Okay. I feel like the skin here needs some work. That transition is ugly. <laughs> Our boy I go so far. Let's uh let's color around the scar thing. Thank you. 
things on the tentacle to get a better idea of how I want it. Mainly, I want to just punch things up a little bit. the tentacle to be very shiny. The highlights that we did last time just did not go up far enough. Do you mean like uh, like very loosey-goosey with your brush strokes or like how, what do you mean by precise and oh yeah I think GW stuff can get to you. There's just a lot of details on that stuff. Uh, and I've definitely been there. Uh, like. I don't remember if you were around for this guy or not, but he drove me insane with all the garbage going on. Like all these skulls have little ropes on them. He's very dusty. Um, Very much like big. Yeah, the bit the base was like I think the base was a good dry run for Flynn. Um, like that was the first time I kind of sculpted a base. Um, uh, I think cleanse is like the next step from that. I think the sculpting is much better and more interesting. It ain't perfect, but uh, small improvements. Also static. I think I think that base is the first one I use like my static grass applicator on, right? I think so. Yeah. So, uh, if you if you like big areas of grass, static grass applicator is a lot of fun. Where is there stuff in here? Um. So yeah, we got the little shrooms. We got a little rat hiding out there paint job on which is not great. <laughs> I think I also have improved at painting rocks a lot, like Kingdom Death helped out with that a lot. Um, yeah, the paint, the paint job on him is kind of lackluster, I feel. Uh, it's just, I just kind of phoned it in at a point. But, yeah. I had held off on buying one for a really long time, and then I just one day said, because I kept like trying to find like one that was like not expensive and like was small but like everything was like roughly the same price and if it was small it looked really sketchy so I just bought the Woodland Scenics one um I think once I get make my way through uh my tufts a little bit more. I'm gonna experiment with making my own with it. We'll see how that goes. Yeah. Yeah, the little birds on him were from Oliver Spaeth. Uh, his Etsy store, I believe, is called Honor Guard Miniatures. Highly recommend. And I believe his Patreon has started back up again. Yeah, yeah, you could do the DIY ones, but mm, 
They all look like they're gonna electrocute you if you like touch the wrong thing, so. I'm good. And again, like, once you get all the materials and stuff, unless you happen to have them lying around, the savings is like not that much, so I'd rather just get like a purpose made thing than something that could electrocute me on a regular basis or start a fire or something like that. Yeah, Oliver Smith has a little animal set that is at least on an STL on his Patreon this month. If you've got a 3D printer. Um, but I'm hoping it makes its way to a store because I do not have a 3D printer. Trying to think of what my next kind of base thing will be um, after I wrap this. So I've been I've been trying to like work on a thing on stream and work a thing work on things off stream. Uh, like have different projects going on again because I haven't done that in a while. I just want to see how it feels. Um, so those witches are the thing I'm working on off stream lately. Um, but I'm trying to debate what the next like 75 mil display thing is going to be. We got some Echo of Camelot figures. We got Artemis from Hera Models. And we got the Bat from Bold. And we also have 54 millimeter stuff. Yeah, that, that grocery store is sketchy. I wonder if that's why they put up the um, big shutters on it. <laughs> if they've had some issues escalate in the last little bit. Fun, 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 fun. Okay, it's 5.45. Let's, at least like, let's, uh, let's do some spraying on the, uh, the old tentacle there. Uh, so what color do I need?
trying to think if I have any. Okay. So there's the. Let's grab. Not you. You? No. You. Okay. Thanks for hanging out and chatting, Sammy. And you're, you're only billing out slightly before the end. I'm just going to do a quick little airbrush on this tentacle to see how it looks, and then I'm going to wrap up there. I'll uh, go take the po' boy out. On a quick little walk, and then I will go get groceries and food for me. Yay! to your Sunday. All that good stuff. Okay. gone before it's very too much more
What am I doing? I am airbrushing on the tentacles. Trying to just blend things out a little bit. Oh, that good stuff. Yeah. Oops. Oops. And then we had way too much on there and then we tried to dry it by blowing it around. So let's fix that up. Someday I'll get a better storage solution for these two tanks, but for now it's all over. <laughs> Quick recap of the little bit of stuff we did today. So, spent a lot of time on the skin, trying to smooth that out, get values and colors and tones where we want it. Uh, some notes for me, I think the chin's a slightly too green still, so we'll fix that up. Uh, this area is still lacking a bit. I think it needs to be punched up ever so slightly and smoothed out. I think some more interest can be added around the eyes. We can remove the S hair for immediate improvement. Um, and I think more value maybe can be added in here. I think maybe go a bit darker with the shadows. And this arm is this arm, whatever. Uh, and then we did the hair real quickly just to get a better idea of what's going on with the skin tones. Um, and just some little cleanups to do. Some smoothing out and stuff like there. I think, I guess, one more note on the skin. Uh, this is all goofy, so we'll have to fix that. And we very quickly punched up the tentacle a bit more. Um, doing some like crazy movements with the brush to get some texture in there, so some sort of weird alien texture thingy. Um, and smooth it out with the airbrush. So it's looking kind of more along the lines of what I wanted. I think some light needs to be added around here more. 
can do some fun stuff with the folds, and obviously the back here needs to be touched up more. So yeah. Oh, I think other than I know is I'm not happy with what's going on here. So I'll keep tweaking that as well. Yeah. So I am going to go get groceries and food and walk Poe. Uh, I may stream tomorrow. We'll see what happens with work and how I feel and all that good stuff. Um, or if I feel the urge to start working a little bit more on those, which is I think I'm going to try to prime them up this evening. Uh, I may do some tweaks on him off stream, even though I said I was going to try to do most of my stuff on stream. Uh, if I do, it's just going to be on the skin. Uh, so you wouldn't miss too much going to be mostly what I was doing today. Yeah. So thank you all very much for watching and hanging out and chatting. Um, as I put more things away so that they're not in my way. Let's get all that stuff over there. Let's see if there's a, a little, little tippy hat man. Maddie. Uh, let's see if um, anybody's online. It's Sunday, someone's got to be online. Come on, Twitch. Come on, Twitch. You can do it. I believe. I believe. Monster Den, and there's Asian Cat, who we both raided recently. Let's go to the old, the old search ado. Or right, anyway, just if you don't find someone quickly, we'll just uh, end the stream here, and y'all can go your separate ways. Let's browse. someone making Funko Pops. No, thank you. There's, me. There's someone playing Horizon Zero Dawn under miniature figures. There's, okay, nothing's grabbing my eye. And I don't want to click into a bunch of streams to see what's going on. So we'll just log off. So. Thanks again, everyone. I'll maybe see you Monday. If not, I'll see you Friday. And hope you all have a nice hump hump to the mini. Hump to the mini. Right at the end. Oh. Yeah, Monster. We, we raided Monster Den like recently. I don't know. Whatever. I'm just going to log off. I'm, I'm tired. <laughs> I want food. So, see you guys Sunday. Or no, Monday or Friday. One of those. Or both of those. We'll see. All right, see you guys. <laughs>